This short video addresses the evil that occurred in Colorado a few days ago with the lone gunman who murdered 12 persons or more and then wounded about 50 or 60 others. As a deliverance minister for over 30 years now and having ministered in the, in the Los Angeles prison facility for almost six years, the movie theater mass murders and the demon-possessed man who carried it out line up with the account in the Bible in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, which profiles the New Testament's most extreme account of a violently dangerous demon-possessed man who the Bible states was so uncontrollable and so powerful physically that he had to be chained up. But even chained up, scriptures say he still had demonically empowered strength enough to break loose from the actual handcuffs and chains. This man, which Jesus encountered, was so dangerous that he was chained up in the tombs of Israel to keep him away from harming people. He was a total danger to society. And just like the Colorado gunman, this demon-possessed man 2,000 years ago was, as I say, a societal problem to Israel and endangered lives. But Jesus' immediate response in encountering this demon-possessed man should be every man or woman of God's response to this kind of evil and this kind of terrorist type of out-of-control person who we might encounter. First, uh, as spirit-filled believers, we must be able to discern the enemy in front of us and not be ignorant of the schemes of the devil, as the Bible instructs. In fact, in Hebrews chapter 5, verse 14, requires that, quote, have your senses trained to discern good and evil. But lack of discernment today across America and in today's naive ministers is a major problem. Most ministers today have no clue about who's demon-possessed or not. This is proven in many ways, particularly in the fact as to how rare it is that we see any TV minister or so-called prophet casting demons out of people. It just isn't seen or heard of at all across the United States or in churches. As a deliverance minister who's cast out demons from over 40 different persons, I can say that there are a lot of demonically influenced people today a lot more than 2,000 years ago. For example, besides turning water into wine, the prime miracle first recorded by Jesus in terms of deliverance was his first teaching inside of the synagogue where he immediately discerned a devil-possessed person sitting right in the crowd, in the synagogue. You know, the devil does go to church. And Jesus cast the demons out of the man publicly in front of everyone. And I do understand that all of this really sounds like foolishness to a lot of spiritually naive persons. But just like in Jesus' first encounter with demons in the synagogue, today there are many demons sitting in the church pews with even naive believers themselves and spiritually blind ministers themselves befriending that person instead of uh, looking to administer deliverance to that person. That's pretty naive and blind spiritually. But again, it takes laser beam discernment to immediately look into a person's eyes and recognize the demons within that person. That's advanced discernment. Hebrews 5.14 at least instructs us to have the first level of discernment, to discern good and evil. As I said before, even that first level of discernment is almost non-existent across the United States and in ministers. But again, the first requirement of spiritually discerning the demons inside a person is a must. How can we defeat our enemy if we can't even recognize him? We have to recognize our enemy. Many other manifestations of demonic possession I've written out in detail at heisnear.com and in the 2005 book I wrote entitled The Eyes Have It, meaning the eyes in, in your head. The eyes have it. 
and this is biblical insight into spiritual discernment with 22 chapters, including chapter 10, which has eye charts showing the 15 to 16 specific photos of eyes, which are most common uh, in our society today, which signify demon possession. Although the book I've written is copyrighted with the Library of Congress, I have not published it yet since the Spirit of God would have me share it with strictly born-again, spirit-filled believers and ministers who are already prime and ready to hear and be trained in the area of deliverance ministry versus me just throwing this information out to the worldly public who, without being born again and filled with God's power, has no power over the devil anyway. Again, this video is strictly an encourager to God's true born-again, spirit-filled ministers as to the problem and the solution in our society today. And some, if not most, of these encounters with demon-possessed people. The word of encouragement I have is to thirsty believers, uh, to have your senses trained to discern good and evil, as Hebrews 5.14 instructs, and to be ready any moment for any and every demonic or evil manifestation in front of us, whether it's terrorists on an airline flight, or a demon-possessed gunman in a movie theater, or Columbine murderers on a school campus, or the recent news film clip showing a child predator, a demon-possessed, I can tell you, trying to abduct a young child. That was on the news recently. These are demon-possessed people and uh, or any other encounter that we might have with satanically empowered persons. Jesus' words for his true bond, uh, bona fide believers are true when encountering a one-on-one -on -one situation with demon-possessed persons. The Lord said, in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, Behold, I give you, meaning his born-again, spirit-filled disciples, I get, including today's born-again, spirit-filled disciples who walk with the Lord, his ministers or believers. Behold, I give you authority over all the power of the enemy, and no thing shall harm you. That's the Lord's own instruction and promise in the Gospel of Luke chapter 10 verse 19. I could share account after account of my experiences and have written some of them out at the site. Many persons who still know me and are part of this ministry's networks today also are keen to my own ministry over the years, even current ministry. If you are a minister yourself you can contact me by email. But in closing the word from the Spirit of the Lord to the body of Christ in, and to his bona fide ministers in the USA is from God's perspective can you imagine having not just one deliverance minister or several like myself able to spot the devil immediately and then cast him out right on the spot but what if the Lord had thousands of his people in America ready like this or even hundreds of thousands across America ready like this to discern the devil and then violently cast him out by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ and his name as the Lord instructed us like Jesus did when he confronted the legion possessed man in Mark chapter 5 how much divine power would God's spiritual army of God's people have in America who are fasted up prayed up and ready in season and out to explode an all-out spiritual and violent assault on any demon or crowd of demons who raise their ugly head in our midst. 